just did. Okay, there we go. Uh, I want to tell you something about what happened today, and um, it's a technology-related story. I went to AT&T because I'm a, a Verizon customer, right? And the dude, I was looking at the Samsung Galaxy S3 and the Samsung Galaxy Note, and I was like, okay, what's it required for me to sign up as a new customer because I've never been an AT&T customer. I've always had Verizon. I enjoy Verizon, and this dude basically goes on to say, well, why don't you get the HTC One uh, X? And I was like, Nah, I, I'm not an HTC fan. I, I don't like the interface. I don't. And he's like, Well, it's 55 times faster than the average internet you get in your house. He says, Here in Jacksonville, he was saying he on his HTC phone he was getting what 45 megs up and like 52 megs down. I'm like, There's no way you're getting faster than my business class internet at my house when I get like 23 megs up and like or like 23 megs down and like 6 megs up and he was like yeah I really am getting that much and to be honest he told me straight up guys yeah this ass clown at uh, AT&T is trying to say that the HTC One X is 55 times faster than my home internet and he said the 4G network is the best 4G network in the uh United States and he basically told me it's a discount it would be five hundred dollars if you didn't have good credit to get a um, AT&T phone and I was like just the reason why I was trying AT&T guys is because the Galaxy S3 is over there and they have the um, <clears throat> the Galaxy Note which I, I thought was a cool device but five hundred dollars I'm not paying five hundred dollars for a cell phone plan and this Bozo the Clown basically tells me, yeah, it'd be $500, and the internet on the HTC One X is 55 times faster than your home internet. And to be honest, I'm like, dude, I'm looking at the Samsung Galaxy Note. He's like, well, that's a cool, that's all right, but the uh, Gal but the HTC One X is what you want to get. I'm like, dude, I know the cell phones. I know what features they have. I've looked at it before. I don't want it. And this dude is trying, and I'm like, he's like, what cell phone do you have? I'm like, I have a BlackBerry right now because I've been on Verizon Wireless, and that's what I've been rocking. And I'm just looking to upgrade, and I know at Verizon Wireless online, I can get the uh, Galaxy S3 for $149.99, and I can get the, uh, or the Nexus for uh, 50 bucks. And to be honest, suckers, in the uh, comments below, let me know what cell phone plan you have. But this is the top it off. Verizon Wireless, because I've had since 2008 an unlimited data package. They're basically telling me if I upgrade to any phone in the future, I'm going to have to relinquish my unlimited data for this bullshit 2 gigs. They're like, well, your phone plan is going to be the same, but you just have 2 gigs of memory. I'm like, dude, I don't want to have, you should still honor my plan. They're like, no, I can't honor. And the the kicker is the Verizon Wireless dude I was talking to, the customer service rep's like, well, I, I work here. I get unlimited data. So, um, to be honest, uh, it sucks for you, pretty much. So, you think the dude was uh, fucking me around $500 for a cell to sign up with, with uh, AT&T? Come on now, son. $500 just to get a, a, a smartphone? Pfft. I'll say at Verizon Wireless and get a smartphone. The Nexus for uh, 50 bucks, but I don't want to uh, lose my unlimited data. So let me know what you you uh, suck us thing in the comments below, because I want to know what you think of the story. Was the guy trying to screw me around, or was he being legit? $500 to sign up.